So if you've ever wanted to learn how to sculpt an ear, whether you're a character designer or you're just kind of getting into 3D, this tutorial is gonna be um, one where I'm gonna show you some of the fundamental principles of sculpting an ear. I'm gonna kind of go through some of the main shapes to consider when making an ear. And hopefully this will be a skill. Um, when you watch the tutorial, you'll learn a new skill and how to approach making an ear in the future. So this is just my technique. I'm not saying this is the best technique, but this is how I make ears when I'm sculpting. So if you wanna, you know, learn this, let's get into it. So I've got a scene open up in Blender 2.93 and I'm just simply gonna be working here with a basic default cube. Now I've gone ahead and grabbed my notation tool and I've just drawn some basic guides here and I'm gonna just quickly explain some of the fundamental shapes of the ear. This is kind of an important thing to understand before we get too into this. So let's just quickly start with the right orthographic view. So from the side of our ear, you can see here we're gonna be dealing with nine shapes. So you can see here this almost looks like a nine. So if I quickly come here to the side, I'm just gonna quickly draw out the shape. So a picture a nine, and then underneath the nine, we have a little tail coming up. And then inside of that picture, a miniature little nine that kind of curls around and comes in like this, meeting over here with a triangle. Okay, so just maybe a little bit smaller. So kind of just keep that shape in your mind. One of the um, big mistakes people do when they um, get into sculpting and they start even drawing ears is they'll sometimes draw an ear like this. And this is oftentimes a very common mistake is this kind of C shape of an ear, which is okay when we're dealing with stuff like um, characters or st very stylized kind of characters. But when we're trying to be anatomically accurate, we definitely wanna be going with something like this. So this is something, the C shape is something you'd see like in a lot of Ardman um, kind of clay claymation kind of stylized stuff, which is what we're not trying to go for here. We're trying to be anatomically accurate. So just be thinking about, whenever we're looking at the ear from the side, always be thinking about nine, not C. We don't want C shapes here. Okay, so that's very important thing to keep in mind. So now I'm gonna quickly raise that. And let's quickly go to the top orthographic view. Now the top is also another one where people sometimes do the same kind of thing. Um, the ear will oftentimes be drawn like this from the top, right? Um, that's very common or even something like this from the top. But what we're dealing with here is a very triangular shape, almost like this, right? So if I quickly draw it out here, almost picture this is being decided ahead. And then we just have a triangle that comes out like this and goes up like that. So picture like this triangular shape. And then we're just gonna take a bit of it away like this. And we're gonna come here and round it off a little bit. And then we're gonna connect this point here down to here. And that kind of, if I was just to erase this, that kind of already gives you a rough idea of what the ear might look like from the, shape, the top. So keep these fundamental shapes in mind. Whenever we're gonna be working with sculpting, the more you can break things down into fundamental shapes as you get started, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. And it just, it gives you the ability to get it roughed out really quickly and you have to proportion some place and then adding in the details progressively becomes a lot easier. So keep this shape here in mind, okay? Just picture that triangle like that and you should be fine. So now we're just going to go to our front view and this one here is oftentimes also um, greatly messed up. What people will tend to do is another thing, round it out too much like that. We're dealing more once again with um, not quite a nine but we're dealing with you know, a shape like that, or sometimes a little bit flatter over here. Can be a little bit different on person to person, but we wanna avoid doing that cartoony shape. Once again, this sort of stylized shape, it's okay for um, for stylized characters and, and things like that, but when we're trying to do an anatomically accurate ear, we need to be thinking about these sort of um, nine shapes, more than the kind of C shapes there. And another um, big mistake that beginners will make, um, both with sculpting and drawing an ear, is if I were to quickly draw an ear here, Right, So they might draw the ear okay, but they kind of picture the um, lobe of the ear going all the way around like that, like just some big hole. And that's not what an ear looks like. With an ear, if I were to quickly draw it out here, it's gonna kind of, um, fold of it, it's gonna kind of start here where the head is, go around, come down and kind of fade in here. And it's kind of like this big area of what's a little bit flatter down here. It's not just this big um, bit of meat that wraps all the way around like some sort of like calamari or squid ring. Um, that's kind of a very common thing that people do. And when I first started sculpting ears, that was a big mistake I made. So we wanna be thinking about that flow um, 
just kind of just sort of flow like that when we're dealing with the ear. So once you keep that in mind, um, when, you're, when you're sculpting, it'll help you a lot when you're approaching the ear from the front view. So now that we have kind of those fundamental fundamentals established, and I've kind of gone through um, how we want to think about the shape from the side as a nine. From the top, we want to think about kind of like a triangular shape. And from the front, um, it's kind of like a big tall stretched out nine, but we do want to keep the flow of the lobe here in mind as well. So with that done, let's get into the sculpting. So I know I took a little bit of time with that, but it, it is important. So let's go and with your default cube, if you've added into your scene, what we're going to do is we're just going to move it. So I'm just going to hit N here to open up my properties panel. And if that cube selected, I'm just going to, on the X, move it just over like this. Okay? And that's just going to be so I can sculpt my ear over here like that. So super simple. I've just moved it negative one meter on the X. And with that cube selected, we're simply just going to go. Um, in fact, let me quickly enable my screencast keys here. So we're going to go now to our sculpting workspace. And you can see it's going to open up our sculpting workspace. We can see all of our, um, tool, our tools here and our brushes. And over here are some basic settings. So we're not going to get too into these, but we're just going to keep it really basic. So let's start, first of all, always very important we're sculpting. We're going to enable our dynamic topology here. And it's going to give us a warning because it's going to be decimating our mesh essentially and triangulating it. So just go ahead and click OK. And now we can start, if I just did a little paint on there, you can see it's starting to um, deform and add geometry dynamically. So what we need to do as well is usually if we're sculpting a character, we can go down here to symmetry. And under the symmetry, we'd usually add a symmetry like Y, X, so it, it, it's mirrored. But in this case, we're just sculpting an ear as an example, so we're not going to be enabling anything with symmetry. At the moment, we're only interested in the dynamic topology. So now I'm going to start by going into my right orthographic view. So this is going to be the side of the ear. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the get the grab brush here. And I'm going to hit F to grow it. And I'm going to select the top here and I'm just going to drag it up and I drag the bottom down. The reason I'm doing this is just to widen this area out here so I can sculpt the ear. Okay, it doesn't really matter. It's just about having a, a base to work on here. And then I'm going to get my sculpt brush, uh, my clay strips brush. I'm going to hit F to shrink the brush. And I'm just going to lightly just go around the corners like this. And then I'm going to hold and shift. And I'm just going to go around and smooth that out. So this is not important. This is pretty much just getting some something to um, work on. So now we have a surface here to start sculpting. So just drag that out a bit. So let's start with the clay strips brush. That's how whenever I start sculpting, that's one of my favorite ones to go to. So we're going to start with a brush that's about this big. And we're going to go Shift F to make sure the strength is up all the way. And we're going to start here. We're going to start drawing a nine, just like that, going down here and coming up, just like to see this kind of nine shape like this. Okay. And you can come over here to your dynamic topology, and we can bring the detail size down if it's a bit too rough. So just something like that, sculpting around. And you can see all we're doing is a very basic shape like that. So I'm going to go again, once again, just like that. About that should be fine. And before we go any further, now that we have the side shape established, we're going to get seven to go to the top view. And over here, we're now going to get our grab brush or our um, snake hook tool. And we're going to hit F to grow it. And we're simply just going to come here and we're going to just pull the ear out a little bit at the back like that. So just pulling it out. And the difference between the grab brush and the snake hook brush is it'll, it'll dynamically um, add new topology as you're dragging things around, which is um, really good. So it doesn't stretch the faces out too much. So what we're doing here at the back is we're just dragging the back of the ear out of that brush. And let's go back to our top. And we're trying to picture here, like I said, we're just trying to picture here a triangular shape like this. Not adding any details, just getting the fundamental shape established. So we've got the side and we've got the front like this. We're just going to come down here to the bottom part. And we also want to just drag that out a little bit, but not too much. Remember, we're also trying to avoid the C shape here at the front. Keep it more like a nine almost. So now that we have that shape established, we're going to start um, eating out the back of the ear a little bit with the crease brush. Let's go get the crease brush. We're going to hit F to shrink it as small as possible. And we're going to start about here at the top. And we're going to come down. And we're just going to make a crease. Now, if it's too weak, you can hit Shift F. You can grow the strength to one. And now we can just come at the top, work our way down, 
like this. And now one big mistake that people will make is they will make this back part of the ear sometimes too little or too much. You don't want it to, um, you know, the ear does have some tissue back, back here. So I wouldn't go any deeper than that with this brush. So just something like that. And then we're gonna come here to the front and we're gonna shrink the brush even more and we're just gonna kind of make a little groove coming from here down to the front here. But what we don't wanna do, we don't want this to wrap any further than this point. So we don't want the groove coming all the way down like that. So just like that to part the ear from the body. And at the bottom here, we're also just going to do the same thing like that. Not going too over the top with it. Like that. And just a tiny little bit up there. So now you can see the ear is starting to feel like its own kind of thing that's attached to the head. So let's hit F to grow the brush. And if you hold and shift, you can kind of just do um, smoothing passes. So I'm st holding and shift and I'm moving my brush over where we sculpt it just to average out the faces and to smooth things out. Don't overdo it with the smooth brush, just gentle little passes lightly to make sure um, we preserve the overall shape. But we're just trying to average it out a little bit. So now you can see the ear is starting to take shape, but it's still a bit of work to do. So let's once again grab the grab brush. And in our right view, so I'm gonna hit free to go into my right view. I'm gonna hit F to grow the grab brush. And I'm gonna just bring this ear down a little bit here like this and a little bit more out. The ear feels a little bit too narrow at the moment. So just bring it out the back here a little bit as well. And bring this down here. And bring this like so. So just defining the shape a little bit more. And like, this, like I said, there's no one kind of ear. So look at some different references, but this is generally kind of the shape you'd see with an ear. So now we're gonna start adding in some more features. So let's go to our clay strips brush. We're gonna have F to shrink the brush. And now we're gonna start adding some of these inner components to the ear. So I'm gonna start at about this point here. I'm gonna zoom in and I start laying down some clay strips coming from here, the inside of the ear just one rough strip and then bring it down all the way to about here. So look at this kind of like a Y shape. Picture this like some Y. So here's the first part of the Y and here's a little bit that connects to it. So if you make picture that shape in your head, um, that makes it a little bit simpler. And then we're just gonna hold and shift and just gonna go around the outside and we're just smoothing that out and blending it into the rest of the ear. So now we have that part there kind of started out. And then in our right view, we're gonna zoom in a bit and we're gonna start about here and we're just gonna bring a strip of clay folding into the side of the Y shape here, like that. So just folding it in. Just a few little light passes, don't overdo it. We're just kind of getting that shape to fold in here. Holding in shift, we're just gonna smooth that out lightly, like so. And you can already see the ear is really starting to take shape. So before we go any further with the clay strips brush, um, like I said, always just get your grab brush. And if you feel like something needs to be adjusted a little bit, just get it and come in there and pull the, the um, geometry around accordingly. So I'm just gonna bring that out a little bit more, like so. And maybe bring the ear out here a bit and just flatten this low part here at the front a bit, just like that. So just getting that shape going there, that looks a lot better. Now let's quickly have a look at it at the front. I'm gonna go to my front view. And at the front, it's almost right, but we just wanna grab this bottom part of the Y shape here, and we just wanna bring that in just a little bit. We don't want that going um, out too much. So just like that. And bringing that part in there just a bit. Maybe that tucking that in a little bit as well. Just tuck that end of that Y shape in under the ear lobe, just a little bit there. Bring that out. Bring that middle part in a bit. And you can see, like I was explaining in the beginning of the drawing, we have kind of like the shape that starts from the head, comes out, wraps down, and then kind of comes down and fades into this meaty, um, flatter part of the ear down here, like that. So now we've got the front, looks a lot better. Side looks pretty good, and the top, looks perfect, so that's really good. So let's keep working at this, progressively adding in detail. So one of the things here that's gonna really make a big difference is kind of like this um, triangular bit here that I mentioned in the beginning. So let's go to our clay strips brush, shrink the brush. And now if we hold in control with that clay strips brush or command, we're gonna inverse the brush. It's gonna do the opposite thing. So we're gonna come here 
I'm kind of drawing just under this part here, this triangular shape. So just making like a triangular hole that sits about here, like that. Don't want to make it too deep, but just something like that. And then over here, we're going to bring from the Y here, we're just going to run another strip of clay just like that, just to add a little bit more definition between that here and this piece of flesh of the ear over here, so just so it stands out a little bit better. So just that little piece of um, tissue coming down like that. And then we're going to hold in shift and just smooth around here like that. Blend this tip here into the um, hole there a little bit just to make it look like it, it kind of fits a bit better. So you can see now we have that part started. But what we can do is get our grab brush and just slowly dra drag a little dimple in like that because it's not quite a flat part on that triangle there. It's a it goes in like a little bit of a um, point there. And this can be different on some ears, but it, generally speaking, that's kind of something you'd see on a reference. So just that little bit there. And then bring that bottom down a bit. And like I said, this can vary with people, especially when it comes to like the age of a person. But generally, that's kind of the shape we'd be dealing with. So let's go back to our um, groove brush here, our crease brush. Hit F to shrink it, so with the crease brush. So we want a really small brush. And I'm going to start about here. And I'm just going to maybe make it even a bit smaller. I'm just going to define this crease down to here a little bit more. So just like that. And then fold it in here. Like that. And just come around the ear here. Just adding a little bit more of a crease there just to um, enhance the definition a little bit. Just like that, but don't overdo it. Just like that. And look at some different references. Some, some people it's not quite as sharp. So it really depends on the person, like I said. But generally that's kind of what you'd be seeing. So now, um, let's go to our dynamic topology. This is an able shade smooth, so it looks a little bit nicer. And um, now we can grow the brush by hitting F. And then hold and shift, and let's just smooth where it looks a little bit rough. I'm gonna smooth the ear in at the bottom here a bit so it blends into the head a little bit better. And anywhere where it's kind of a bit raggedy or rough, just give it light little smooths, smoothing passes. Like that. And that's pretty much our ear. So anywhere where it looks a bit too sharp, just smooth it out. And just use the crease, crease brush at this point, just to anywhere where it needs a little bit of definition a little bit of sharpness, just sparingly and lightly use your um, crease brush just to give a little bit more detail. But like I said, you definitely don't want to be overdoing it with the crease brush. You can definitely make the ear feel like it's just floating on the head and it isn't part of the head. And that's kind of one of the mistakes I definitely made when I first got into sculpting ears. It just didn't feel like it was part of the rest of the sculpt. But yeah, there we go. That is a ear in a blender and um, maybe one more little thing I'll do just come in here with the clay strips brush and just lay a strip of clay right there just to add a little bit more definition in here and then holding in shift just gonna smooth that out and that's pretty much it so if you've gotten this far you've made a nice looking ear in blender um, congratulations. I hope you guys learned something from this anatomy tutorial and I hope you guys are able to use it to in your tutorials. Um, like I said, it really comes down to looking at a lot of different ears. And in this case, for example, I didn't make, and some people have this thing going on in the ear where there'll be a little bit of it like this. That's just got a little bit of an indent there. Um, but in some people that isn't as noticeable. So it really just depends on the, the reference that you're looking at, the age of the person and stuff like that. So you can see that little divot there. And some people you really see it and some people you don't. So it just depends on the reference. So I will see you guys next time for another tutorial and um, stay safe.